All right, here we go for our first composite test. We're gonna bring all the cameras together today and bring it all into, into, into one shot. We've got the front camera, we've got the plan camera going, we've got side camera, and we have sound studio camera. Hello. Normally, we would be starting off with some sort of an outdoor shot where we talk about, we, we'll, we'll have an intro and some things like that, but uh, we're just gonna do studio shots today. You don't like the printer shot and the Christmas tree. What we're going to do is we're going to look at some palm trees today. And this is based off of an email that we got the other day. Uh, Manny, what was that email? Today's email comes from Kiss Me. Actually, it's Kissimmee. It's a real city in Florida. Right. Well, the email says, I'm working on projects in Miami and I need to draw a lot of palm trees. Any pointers? It comes from Nicole. It's, it's Nicole. Right, I just assumed it was, it was Cuban. Right, well, man, let's just edit that part out, all right? Right, you bet. I would wink, but that would be unprofessional. So today we're going to be going over palm trees. Now, we've already gone over the five steps, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with black and white and then add some color to it. Again, remembering our five steps. We're going to start with our framework, go to our line work, Add texture, shading, and then eventually contrast. So for our framework, what we're going to do for palm trees is we're going to start with a couple simple shapes. Uh, the first of we're going to draw a circle. And we'll have pieces coming off of it like this. Okay? But now there's a couple things we need to know couple different pieces. First of which is, remember the squiggles? We're going to do squiggles like this. Squiggle that goes off the side. In the front, and a little one on the top. All right? So that's what we're going to use. So also what we're going to have is, while we're drawing on the screen, I'll have this voiceover so that I can come in and talk about different kinds of techniques, reference back to other videos, other lessons, talk about different colors and things like that, uh, basically to fill in some of the pieces. That way I don't have to concentrate so much about what I'm saying while I'm drawing. I can just come back in later and make a little bit of commentary. Now with the head underneath it, That's the basic line work, that's the texture. Now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading, especially in between these fronds. How you doing in there, Manny? Oh, you know, it's going alright. It would probably would help if my hands weren't so two-dimensional, but, you know, it's going just fine. Alright. Mm. There we go. Now we have our palm tree. Now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over and do a little bit of color, but on the back side. That way we don't end up smearing any of our line work.
It doesn't have to be exact. The line work on the front carries the weight. This is just going to be for extra. dark enough. Let's go a little bit darker. There we go. Then we're going to come in and put the sunshine on top. Remember how we dabbled in the, the marker using the sunshine? This color is cream, but it's not very juicy. I think we need something a little bit, a little bit more juicy. There we go. shadow color. Let's see what that is. Basic gray. Sort of neutralize things a little bit, fill in some holes. palm tree. Now since we're talking about palm trees, it might make sense for us to start going into some yuccas and agaves, things like that. Keep on with the tropical theme. No, actually I'm going to need to say that for next time. All right. Um, we're probably going to get to that this round. So next up, we're going to be looking at agaves, yuccas, and tropicals. <laughs>